there. You, you like it? Mm -hmm. You see? We have food in the house. You all don't look for it. Just walking around hungry. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Mm. Come on, let's eat. Good afternoon. How is everyone doing? How do you guys slept? You all slept good? Mm. This is my pan butter soup. You guys remember my pan butter soup? I stop eating parbo rice. Parbo rice, when you eat it, sometimes it chokes your throat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I don't know what. I don't know how to explain about parbo rice. At the same time, they said it's better than white rice. Mm. I'm cooking steak for you, okay? Steak and mashed potato. But let me eat first. You call me if I fall, then you can pick me up. I have to eat first before I cook for my kids. Abu is eating my salmon, salmon spaghetti that I cooked the other day. Mm -hmm. You see why it's good to cook food and put it in the fridge? I will show them. Turn it on. Mm -hmm. Abu is eating the salmon. Do you guys remember the salmon? Salmon spaghetti and sausage that's what he's eating so sometimes you guys ask me who eats all our food what you doing with all our food that's what they said they said um pabo rice is very low in starch but sometimes it, it looks tough in the in the mouth mm -hmm. Sometimes the white rice is softer than the parboiled rice. Some people will ask me, Chef Ruby, what do you do with all our food? Where do you put all our food? My food stay in the fridge. We eat it as we go. That uh, uh, spaghetti Abu is eating, I cooked it maybe like three, four days ago. He's still eating it. Um, this um, palm butter soup, I cooked it day before yesterday. I'm still eating it and enjoying it. So, 
That's the thing about homemade cook. A homemade food. You can eat it any time of the day. You just heat it up and eat. Because Maru don't eat fish. There's a lot of fish in this soup. There's a lot of fish in that spaghetti. So I'm going to cook um, steak and salmon. No, sorry. Steak and mashed potatoes for Maru and his friend. His friend spend the night here. So Maru, his friend, and Nazma are going to eat the steak and mashed potato. Me and Abu, we're enjoying our fish. Mmm. You see? This is smoked fish. Hi, Onyeke. How are you? Hi, Julie. Hi, Christian. Hi, Masha. How are you guys doing? Mm. Good afternoon. Checks us in the house. Good afternoon. This is my African chicken. Give me water. This is African hen chicken. Mm. Oh my God. Thank you. African hen chicken tastes better than American chicken. You see how small is the leg? This is the leg. If you compare this leg to American chicken, it's crazy. American chicken fertilizer, fertilizer. African chicken, it grows, it grows naturally. It's hen. They don't put no fertilizer in it. You see? Mm. So, Miss Barnett, you cannot order my seasoning without free shipping. I just give them free shipping November and December. This is January. We just started the year. Now you're coming. Since yesterday, you asking me for free shipping. I don't answer you. You're still asking me for free shipping. You other one don't want people to, to grow. Because free shipping, free shipping, free shipping, I'm going to bankrupt and close my business. Now you're going to buy those other seasoning out there. With no free shipping. You drive your car, you go to the store, and pick it up. Yeah, you've been asking since yesterday. Free shipping, free shipping, free shipping. I just did it last month. Let me rest. Let my business rest a little bit. Mm. She has to be free shipping. Why don't you go out and support me and pay some shipping? At least support your sister. Support your sister here. I'm not going to answer because you guys come here all the time asking for free shipping. I just did a free shipping. Some America, so let me don't say America. Some businesses, they give free shipping once a year. Or they give discounts once a year. But me, sometimes I give free shipping three, four times a year. That's not good for my business. Look at this bone. If somebody swallow this, you go into the graveyard. This is bone from a tilapia fish. Y'all share the life. Share the life. You guys tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not being rude, though. I'm not being rude. I swear to God. I'm just saying the truth. It's not only you. It's a lot of people asking for free shipping. And I just gave a free shipping last month. You know, mm. at least you guys support me for like a year or two years without no free shipping so the business can grow. But if I get free shipping every five minutes, I'm not going to grow. I'm going to stay like this forever. Uh-huh. I'm not being rude. I swear to God. 
you know, sometimes, sometimes when you say the truth, they say you are rude. But this is the truth. I know you saw the free shipping the last time. Thank you, Miss uh, Bernadette. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Diane. May God bless you. Mm. I, I have to be careful with this bomb. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to swallow no bomb. I don't want to go to the emergency. It's too cold. It's too cold to go sit in that emergency. Waiting for somebody to take my bone out. Chef, we don't waste food in this house. This little food, I'm going to save it. Sometimes I waste food. If my food stay in my fridge for a week, nobody eat it, I'll trash it. That I don't have no choice. But good food like this, I don't waste it. Hold on, guys. Let's cook, let's cook. Let's forget about food shipping. Let's cook. Let's forget about free shipping, please. Let's cook. No free shipping right now till Mother's Day. Mm. No free shipping till Mother's Day. A lot of free shipping coming. Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. The holidays are coming already. You know? So don't worry. Free shipping is coming. Just watch. Uh, I will back up this. I want them to see what I'm doing. Back it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Perfectly. So I'm going to wipe the um, the water out of this steak. Like this. I have three rib eye steak. I love rib, rib eye steak because it's soft. It's easy to cook. So sometimes take your paper towel and wipe your water, wipe your juice. Hmm. Okay, I cannot read most of this comment. Let me continue to cook. All right, <laughs> so we'll put our all-purpose seasonings. These beautiful seasonings. You can even go order them and dash me $10. I say, thank you, Chef Ruby, for bringing this seasoning out of in this world. Thank you so much, Chef Ruby. You guys can dash me $10, $10 $20 tip because you cannot find these seasonings in any, anywhere in this America. I'm not even talking about Africa. Africa only cook with Maggie. This kind of seasoning, nobody have them in, in Africa. I'm telling you that for free. Nobody sit down and, and make this type of seasoning from their head. They're going to buy seasoning, mix them up, pretending to, 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 to sell good seasoning. My seasoning is original. It's made from my heart and from my head, from my hands to yours. So please support me. Without asking me, free, 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 no free in America, no free, free, free in America. So that's the only seasoning I'm gonna put on my. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt around. When your hands slippery, it's hard to use. I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on the steak. My son like his steak. Ah. Just sprinkle around it. That's it. So now, let me start the fire. I'm going to cook this steak on low fire because I have to prep the... Um, this is olive oil. You're going to put some olive oil on your steak. Rub it nicely. You'll see how that seasoning is beautiful. Good evening, everyone. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is doing fine. And a lot of people are indoors because of the weather. A lot of people are working. A lot of people are driving. A lot of people, everybody is doing their own thing. You know? 
It don't matter how the weather is bad, you still gotta get up and go do what you gotta do. Because if you don't do it, nobody else can do it. So I'm putting some olive oil on this grill because I don't want my steak to stick on the grill. I put some olive oil in it. So this one too, you have to rub it. You all see that? If you're not rushing to cook, you can marinate this. You can marinate this for like two days before you cook it or one day overnight. We, we, where uh, is your nieces and <laughs> nieces and nephew? Bye bye to their mom and dad. Mm -mm. Nieces and nephews, bye bye to their mom and dad. I don't know if I have another child at this age right now. What I'm gonna do? Yeah, it's it's just it's it's not easy. The way those kids weigh me out those two days, <laughs> God. Saturday and Sunday and Monday? No. Thank God, as soon as that boy started crying, I took him in the shower. As soon as we came out of the shower, I sit on that couch, I hear the bell. Ta -da! I say, oh, who is that? You? <laughs> as soon as I sit on the couch to dress him up, the bell ring. I say, oh, I hope it's my brother. I hope. Then I saw him on the glass. I said, oh. And guess what? Those kids, American kids are the most ungrateful kids in this world. That little boy, as soon as he saw his dad, he flipped from me. He <laughs> Just imagine, he was, I, I have the diaper, I was trying to put a diaper. As soon as he turned like this, he saw his dad, he flipped from the couch, the diaper dropped on the floor. <laughs> that boy was crying like me, I was whooping him the whole weekend. I said, hey, American children, these American children, who opened my door? Who opened my door? Who opened my door? How could you not get the door? I did. Hey! Ah! <laughs> Rashida, Rashida, you're so stupid for real. Ah, why you keep doing that to me? <laughs> Rashida, so no work today? No, I have work. I, just have to, I didn't take my shirt, so just, my manager sent me back home to get my shirt. For real? Yeah. You did that on purpose. No. <laughs> oh, it didn't finish drying? Oh, go, go ahead. Go get it. I'll wash it just for you. Okay, so now go we'll fix your hair. Because I know. Your hair dry like Kondobala. <laughs> your hair, hold on. Your hair, your, go fix yourself, please. I know. Ah, don't play with your hair here. Go fix, put some edge control or something. Everything is dry. Your face, everything dry. Rushing, you don't want people to. <laughs> I say, God, where you just come from? From that village? <laughs> no, I got out the shower and I left the shower. <laughs> everything, everything is dry. I will for this one, this camera. Hey, come hang it. You have to. Mm -hmm. That one, I don't think anybody gonna eat it again. Can you fix this phone? The phone must to drop. Sit and position this camera. Sorry, sorry, guys. I want to um, okay, leave it like that. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn the fire all the way down because I want to do my mashed potatoes and I want the, I want the steak to cook nicely so those kids can come eat. Mado and Abu friend is here. He spent the night with them. The cover, no, the cover is in the sink. So get a cover and cover it. Yeah, take it out. So you have to make your steak. Let me find it. This kid loves to eat steak. If you guys can see that beautiful seasoning. Chef Ruby, you are... You are so funny. I love it. Thank you. You have to be funny in life. Miss Vicky, me buddy, oh, how did you How did they do, me sister? You know, you cannot take life too serious. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put two rosemary there just for the flavor. So I turn my fire down very low because 
I want to come back here. I want to come back here. This thing is so hard to control. Hi, they do me, Paddy. Brittany, how are you? Thank you for being my supporter. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everybody that have a green badge, those are my supporters. Thank you guys for being my... Thank you guys for being my um, Facebook supporters. Because of your support, that's why I'm still here. The supporter is $4.99 a month. So you guys go join my supporter group. If you go to my page, it's right there. You just click it and type in your information and join to support us every month. $4.99. Those um, help... Those help us to buy food and do this content or share recipes with you guys. So please, if you are not a supporter, please go register and be Chef Ruby and family supporter. Thank you. Um, Miss Diane, good afternoon. How are you? Stephanie, how are you? How are you guys doing? Let's talk. How is your weather in your state? Atlanta, the way they anticipate the weather here, if you see outside, it's dry, 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 dry. Dry, they close all the school. They don't even have winter in this state. They're going to cancel the school. They, me, sometimes I feel like they want, they want those people to sell all their old, old food in the store. That's why they predict in this weather. So people can go grab everything from the store. That's how I feel sometimes. You know? Because the moment they say bad weather, everything is gone. All the old food, all the expired drinks, everything is gone. You know? All those expired meats, fish, everything. <laughs> Everybody going to grab theirs to take home. You know? But for me, I don't see nothing outside. I see it's very cold, but I don't see no snow. I don't see no ice. Yeah. That's Atlanta for you. North Carolina, yes, it's snowing there. Virginia, it's snowing. It's snowing here in, in Missouri. Yes, all those places are cold places. It's cold. School closed in Chicago. Definitely. Chicago, New York, all those places. They are very cold. It's 12 degrees tonight. Yes, 12 degrees. It's very cold. It's good it's tonight. Everybody going to be in their houses. Unless somebody that have to work at night. It's freezing cold in Cleveland, Ohio. Ooh! Ohio, did you see me the last time in Columbus, Ohio? When that snow was dropping on me? It's been a while I didn't see snow. So I went under the snow. I started taking pictures. Because Atlanta here, we are not lucky to have snow. I thought it was going to snow this December, but it didn't come. So... But I don't see myself moving to any cold states because I don't like cold, period. I don't like cold. I don't like no cold. We have ice in Alabama. Yeah, Alabama is cold. Alabama is cold. North Carolina is cold. South Carolina is cold because they have a lot of mountains. That's why. That's why it's very cold over there. It's very cold in talk, talk and what? Which island is cold? Which island is that? Island not supposed to be cold. All islands are supposed to be hot and nice and, and 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 sweet. So I don't know which island is cold. Is that island in the US? Hmm? Does US have an island? Let me know, please. I don't know. Me too, I'm asking a question now. I'm peeling my potatoes. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes for this kid. It's just mashed potatoes and um, steak. I didn't buy veggies. These kids don't like veggies. If you cook veggies, you're going to eat it by yourself. They're not going to eat it. So I'm chopping the potatoes. Oh, potato, come here. Why are you drop? Um, it's cold in, it's cold in some parts of Florida too. Oh, it's hot here in uh, Caribbean. Yes, that's where I need to be right now. Caribbean. Um, Africa, Beldives. It's Beldives I want to go. You guys seen Beldives? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Beldives. I want to go to that country. North Carolina in South Carolina has a lot of rain and lots of tornadoes and hurricanes. We don't get that much of snow. Okay. When it does, does 
no it's just melt away oh okay that's good that's good let me rinse my potatoes okay but uh, too much rain too is not good though. too much rain is not good me yeah, i just like a uh, medium weather medium weather okay guys my water is boiling so i'm gonna put my potatoes here wash, you wash your potatoes and put them in the boiling water I want this potato to be ready the same time the, the steak is getting ready. Yes, Abu likes steak, but I don't know if Abu gonna eat this steak because he just eat that uh, uh, salmon and spaghetti. So I don't know. Okay, my potatoes are in there. Oh, gosh. Let's come check our steak. Ms. Vicky said, I live in New Jersey, Maryland, and Virginia, too. Um, Virginia, too cold. Atlanta, so sweet. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, I mean, I love Atlanta. When I came, when I came from Europe, I was in, uh, I was in New York first. Yeah, I was staying in New York. So I said, no, all that cold that hit me in Europe for, for the past couple of months, I'm not going to stay here. I have to go. So I came to visit my cousins in Atlanta and I fall in love with Atlanta because of the weather. So I never went back home. I never went back to, to, to New York. My friend I was staying with, she kept calling me, hey, Ruby, come back. I said, no, nope, I'm not coming back. I'm staying right here. I ain't coming back to New York. First of all, I didn't like the apartments there. The apartments are so tight. And second of all, it's too cold. Third of all, it's too crowded. Fourth of all, you have to take train anywhere you want to go. Oh, no. There's so many things I didn't like. I said, my dear, I find heaven. From Africa, Europe to America, and I find heaven in Atlanta. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere, girl. I'm staying here. I'm staying here. So that's how I stay in Atlanta. So you're going to put some salt. You want to put some salt in your potatoes, okay? Aha, much better. Much better. Mm -hmm. It looks nice now. Mm -hmm. When are you going to quit this job? <laughs> but this job make you... Wait for the stick. Tell how your stomach is running. Okay, go. Yes. That's what can bring it for you. She know your job. Tell her. Yeah, tell her. I got a skin, but that other skin, I don't know where to how to put it on. The one you put under your clothes. Ah, that one looks so tight. I'm not gonna wear it too. No, oh, I'm hell no. It's extra large. I don't know why it's so small. How do people wear it? Huh? I don't know. If I don't know how to wear it, I'm going to give it to you. Auntie Suzanne, thank you for 100 stars. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Eh? So you're going to flip your steak. I'm making this steak to cook nice and slow. Because the potato is still boiling, it's gonna why why I charge this pot. Ooh, I burned my hand. Yeah, you're gonna let the potato boil. So yeah. Let me raise my hand. I don't wanna dirty my shirt. I don't wanna dirty my shirt. Y'all see the steak? Rib eye steak. Go to um go to farmer's market. If you go to Publix, you go buy rib eye steak there, it's so expensive. Like this three is 30 something dollars, 35 dollars, 40 dollars at Publix. Same steak. If you go to those farmers markets or those Spanish store, this three steak you can get is $16.99, $18.99, you know, maybe $21.99, something like that. It's cheaper. So go to farmers market or go to the Spanish stores. Those um those uh, Spanish farmers markets. The, the rib eye is very cheap there. I'm just telling you guys, okay? All right, let me wash my hands. One minute. I'm going to run away, eh? Whiskey, 
it there. As soon as they see you hold camera, you start cooking, they're going to run. They're going to run away. When they start to eat, you see them coming upstairs one by one. Tell me if your kids do the same thing to you. As soon as you say salam alaikum in the kitchen, they run away. And when you talk about it, they roll their eyes on you. Like they don't want you to talk about it. They just want you to be quiet about it. Right? That's what American kids do us. American kids do us. Because growing up in Africa, eh? Let me tell you guys the truth. Let me wipe this water here. Growing up in Africa, if your mom start cooking, your mom don't even have to call your name twice and say, Rugi, can I catch? No. Mm -hmm. Your mom don't have to call your name once or twice to, for you to come. As soon as you see your mom start cooking, you're the one going to run and enter that kitchen and start helping. Because if you ignore, like for example, if I see my mom cooking, then I walk away, I go sit over there, or I go down, well, we don't have a downstairs in Africa, wherever. I go sit outside the veranda, we call it veranda. I go hold my baby toy, I'm pretending like I'm breeding the baby toy or something, just for me to balance that job, okay? Hmm. My mom not going to say nothing. My mom going to look at me like she don't even see me, Okay? She will look at me. Maybe, maybe me, my back is torn. I'm playing with the toy. I'm, I'm pretending like I'm doing something. You know? <laughs> my mom will walk behind me. She will walk behind me. She will come. She will hold this. She will twist it. She will twist. It. Hey, God. If you start screaming, you're going to be screaming straight to the kitchen. You're going to be screaming like a puppy. <laughs> By the time you realize what happened, you are already in the kitchen. That's the thing. But coming to America, let me go downstairs now and try it. I want to go downstairs and go try it and go bend one of those kids here and bend it and pinch it till it turns red or purple. Hey! Police, 911. That's what's going to happen. Even the neighbors see me, the neighbor going to call 911 for me. You know what I'm saying? Which is Africa. If your neighbor see you do, doing that and your, and your daughter or your, or your son get up and want to fight you, the neighbor going to come help you too. You're, both of you going to whoop that baby. You're going to whoop that baby till the baby understand what you guys mean. But try it here. Try it here. Just try it. You will see. Anyways, welcome to America. Welcome to America, the land of um, what am I doing? I'm going to make some um, beef pie. I want to make some beef pie, so I bought some ground beef. This, I'm going to make it for Madu. I want to make it for Madu. Madu don't eat fish around this house, so I like to make other stuff so he can so he can eat. If we eat and enjoy fish, he can enjoy something else too. So I'm gonna chop up this onions on here. I am laughing so hard at you, Chef, Chef Ruby. You are hilarious. It's true, it's the truth. Any story I tell you about Africa, I believe it. It's the truth because me, I grew up from there. I know, it's the truth. Then your dad gonna come home, they complain you, your dad gonna whoop you too. So you're gonna get whooping everywhere. Just the same thing when you go to school. You do something bad, the teacher gonna whoop you. Your teacher, you go home and complain, your mom gonna take you to school and whoop you in front of the teacher. I started pounding fufu at, at age, age nine. Thank you, Nana. Tell them, tell them, tell them, Nana, tell them. I'm just gonna scrape these onions here. Madu don't like onions. That's why I'm scraping it. 
so it can look dice. That's enough. I'm just gonna put small, okay? So we're gonna put my all-purpose seasoning. This seasoning is the bomb. Anything I cook, that's what I use, okay? We put my all-purpose seasonings. The steak is cooking nicely. I'm gonna turn fire down on the steak. I don't want the steak to burn. So as you guys can see, the steak is cooking nicely. The potatoes is cooking nicely, all right? All right, let me get this. Abu! Abu, my son! Sitting right there as soon as you open the door you're gonna see it my beautiful aunt was no joke i'm telling you auntie uncle everybody can whoop you in africa it don't matter even your neighbors can whoop you your neighbors see you do something wrong yeah put it right here i'm gonna make this meat pie so that's garlic this is ginger and this is parsley this one, I think, is new. Where is your friend? So, um, Parsley. I just put... He's getting his hair done. Yeah. By Nazma. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Huh? Where do you want to take me today? I don't feel like going out. If you want to take me out, I'm going out. Just tell your dad to cash up us so we can go... Hey, I want to go to the Y. Hey, I'm not going to the Y. Why? No, I'm, I ain't going to the Y. I don't want to go to the to the V. What's my that? mom used to warn v? my brothers before we went to the store not to ask for stuff. They would ask anyway, and when she <laughs> when she said no, they would cry. She will reach under their arm and pinch. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> she, she will reach under their arm and pinch. Eh, what is it? Where did I stop? I can't see. Pinch. Pinch them. They will cry and then try to tell my dad he didn't do anything. I will be laughing at them. <laughs> That's funny. I like that, I like that. That's 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 funny. That's how you do it. I used to pinch a lot. <laughs> What's the V? Huh? What's the V? I wanna go to the V. What is that? You don't know V? No. When you become tired, you will know V. Just tell your dad to cash up me so we can go. V? Uh-huh. I wanna go to the V. You Wait, wanna but I'm not 30. You wanna go to the Y. Me, I wanna go to the V. What right? Is what is Y? Like YMCA. YMCA, okay. My V, I'm going to keep it as a secret. When you become 30, then I will tell you. That's a long time. Oh, okay, so wait. Or your girlfriend will take you there. To the V. You want to go to the Y? Me, I want to go to the V. Can you guys tell this boy what is V? Can Asma take us? Can Asma yeah. take you? Yeah. Okay. After you take me to the Y, then I will take you to the V. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> After you take me to the V, then I'll take you to the Y. <laughs> so, guys, you'll see, this meat is seasoned with onions, Chef Ruby all purpose seasonings, little African maggi. Then I chop up some onions. So, I'm going to put this to the side. And I need one potato. I need one potato to go with this. I need one potato for my. It's meat pie I'm making. The, the steak is still cooking. And my potato is still cooking, okay? Right here, you guys see? So don't, don't think I forget about that one. Oh, it's still cooking. Chef Ruby likes to multitask. Hi, Miss Teresa. Where is Teresa? I don't see Teresa, Vicky. Where is she? Hi, Teresa. How are you? Congratulations on your page. I see you going live, making cooking videos. Congratulations. 
I need to come eat some neck. Oh, I don't eat pork. Some oxtails. Let me wash this. I wish I can put sink right here when I'm cooking. I used to pop. I used to pop ears and pinch mine. I always told them I am not scared of no police or social service because I am social <laughs> because I am social worker and I know my limits. Oh yeah, you lucky for you. You are social worker. Me, I don't know my limit too. Mm. Me, one time, that's my make me so mad, so mad. I just came from doing uh, my eye surgery. I did an eye surgery. They, they, that thing, when you have that little thing, this particular eye, you know, I went and take it out. Cataract, cataract, whatever they call that stuff. Cataract, 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 I don't know the name. So I went and did the surgery. I came home. I was in so much pain. I have my bandage on my eye. Hmm. This girl, I don't know what was going on between her and Madu, her little brother. They was fighting over something. I told her to stop. She never stopped. Then they went by the front door. I don't know what happened there. She slammed the door and slammed the baby finger. Madu was a baby that time. Maybe, maybe six, seven. I don't know. Yes. My head when I go to bed. <laughs> so... Yeah, so the baby started screaming. I didn't do nothing, no. I didn't touch this girl. I didn't say nothing. I told her to go later in her room. Go time out. Hey, she's going to the time out. She slammed my door. The door, she slammed the door so hard, so hard. The door went like this. <laughs> so the door, let me say the door broke one sided. The door went like this. Oh my god. When I get up on that couch with my one eye. One eye, only this eye was saying, this one was closed with the bandage. When I get up, when I get up from that, when I get up from that couch I was laying, I just look for the belt. Pipe, 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 pipe. So you guys know that Nazma is light skin, right? Anywhere you touch her, it's going to be red. <laughs> so she have a little scratch right here. Then she went to school. Hmm. Me too with my dumbness. I sent her to school with that little scratch on her forehead. Now she went there, they asked. She explained. She didn't lie though. She didn't lie. She never lied. She explained everything what happened. She explained what she did. Yeah. These social workers, they come. Thank God when, when I used to raise them, I used to tell them. I used to tell them everything about social worker. You know, I used to tell them everything what happened there. <laughs> hey, so after school now they came and get her, all of them Rashida, Madru, Abu, Nazma everybody gone me I'm sitting outside now the next day I'm waiting for school bus to come the school bus came everybody came and push. I don't see the middle school eh? um, no the kindergarten the, 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 the middle school came. That time Nazma was in middle school. Nazma and Rashida. The middle school came. Bam. Everybody came out. I don't see nobody. I said, hey, where are my kids? So I run to the neighbor house. I go ask the other kids. Did you guys saw my kids in the bus this morning? They say yes. Because I'm the one put them in the bus. I said, did you guys see them coming home? They said no. I said, eh, where are my kids? Oh, I called the school. I said, Two boss came, I don't see my kids. What's going on? <laughs> they said, ma'am, go to social and social address. Your kids are with the social worker. I say, for what? For what? <laughs> they said, well, just go there. You'll see what's going on. So I called my brother, started crying. I said, no, I'm going to jail. Oh, me, I'm going to jail. Me, I'm finished. I'm finishing America. I'm finished. <laughs> I started crying. You know? Oh God. So I drove I drove myself there. No, I went with the boy's dad. We went there, then my brother came and meet us there. So 
they put me in this room, eh? I'm telling you guys the truth. Hi, Teresa, how are you? Hi, Temi. You guys that have kids in this country, you don't know where I'm coming from. <laughs> you don't know the stories. So I went there, they go, they go put me in this little room, interrogation room, whatever, whatever. Me, I'm not even scared. I'm sitting there with my bandage, with my, my one eye. Then the guy come, two white guys, big men, they come. Man, what happened? I say, I did. I whoop her. Yes, I whoop her. They say, why you whoop her? Then I explain the same story what happened. Then they say, ah, don't you know? You're not supposed to put a mark on your child. Da, 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 da. I say, do you know how many marks I came with from Africa? Ah, do you know how many marks? <laughs> I swear to God. Me and the people were sitting there arguing. Those kids, they already take them there. They give them toys. They, they trying to fool them now so they can take them. Mm -hmm. Rashida said, you guys take me home. Y'all can take her. Me, I'm going home. Rashida said, uh -uh, I'm, I ain't going nowhere. My mom is the best mom is the, in the world. I'm not going. She can go if she want to go, but me, I'm not going home. So, <laughs> so Nazma too, according to the social worker now, is the lady was telling me later, and Rashida told me too. So, Nazma too start crying. I'm not going. I'm not going. <coughs> I did. My mom didn't do nothing. I'm the one hurt my mom. I'm the one did this. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> So they said all the four kids, the, the boys, when they, the boys, when they saw their sisters crying, them too, they started crying. I'm going to my mommy. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. Me, I was not there. I was in my interrogation room. I was, I didn't know that my kids was interrogating them too over there. Me, I didn't know nothing. <laughs> ah, this is funny. I never share this story with anybody, but I'm sharing with you guys as jewels. You guys are mothers. You guys are, you guys are grandmas. You guys know what we parents go through in this um, part of the world to raise kids. You know, I'm chopping up these potatoes so when I cook them, they're gonna be fast. You guys can comment, comment your experience, comment what you've been through in this country raising kids. It's not easy. So me and those two guys who was in that room, we two were interrogating each other. Why you put smack on the child? I said, so why the child broke my dog? It's a child. It's not supposed to broke my dog. You know, when, when she slammed the door on her brother, and thank God, when she slammed the door, the, the, the little marks was on the little boy hand. You know? So I said, when she did that, I didn't touch her. Then she went and broke my dog. Hmm? Okay. So I said, these kids here, I said, sir, if you go to this cop kind of jail right now, how many 16, 15, 14, 13 year old kids there? Millions because of the upbringing. I said, we they didn't raise us like that too. I said, Africa, they don't, uh -uh. I said, me, me as a woman, I came here at the age of 19. For me to survive in this country, having four of them, raising them by myself, putting food on the table, da, 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 da. I have to be disciplined. If not, I cannot do it. Right, sir? The, the, the white man just sit like this on his couch. He's holding his pen. He's looking at me like this. He's looking at me. Uh-huh. So then they said, okay, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. They leave me there. They leave me there by myself. They left. They're gone. Me, I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm sure they're going to go sit. They watch me on their camera. They're looking at me like this to see if I'm nervous or I'm shaking or whatever. <laughs> So they went there. I think when they went there, them two, they made their own interrogation. The kids were scattering all over the place, crying. I want to go home. I want to go home. My mom is good. My mom, they is like. So later they came back and say, um, they sit down. They sit down. They're looking at me. They say, do you know you're a good mom? I said, what do you mean? They say, you're a very good mom. I said, okay. They said, because your kids are over there screaming everywhere. That they're not going to know the facts. It's it's scare tactic that is used, it's used. Um, but that's crazy. They took them, they took them without notifying you first. That's not how we operate. That's not how we operate in Ohio unless we are doing a, an emergency removal from household, and we feel it's a dangerous situation for them to go home. But why no one called? Yeah, that. I should have raised that question. Maybe I should have sued them for that too. But me, I didn't know that time. 
you know i don't know i didn't, I didn't know i i just know nothing until i called the school before i know what was going on but anyway so they came now they start praising me you are a good mom the kids want to go home da, 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 da. but next time it don't matter how you mad you are you know maybe you can walk from the box you know this this box box don't show mat go to the box whoop under the feet but don't put mark no don't you as a parent me me long time since that incident i stopped putting my hands on my kids now i discipline i take phones i turn phone off i i discipline now but for me to do like this no i don't do that that african style is gone years and years ago no i don't do that anymore you guys can ask my kids i will scream i will go close to them but, but to do like this no because you don't want to go to jail or you don't want to spoil your your image for for something that don't make sense it makes sense to us but it don't make sense in this country that you a child that you bat for yourself you bring in this way you can all whip them the way you want you can all discipline them or whatever it don't to me it don't make sense but the law is the law you have to follow the rules you know when you live in a country you can all be, behave the same way you behave the country that you come from now you have to follow the rules of the country you're living it don't matter if it's america europe jamaica and china wherever which country you have to follow the rules you don't follow the rules you're finished so that's what happened so the lesson here is be good to your kids treat your kids right do the right thing when something happened them the one going to defend you it don't matter how crazy it is the love they have for you and the, the the love you have for them the way you take care of them i swear to god those kids gonna stand up and fight for you and that's what happened to me that day and i was so proud they make me feel so good yes they make me i am going through something with my 40 year old son after all these years he has gotten himself in trouble it's going to cost five thousand to get him out of jail not doing it because he has done what i taught him not to do and you go against that you make your bed hard you have to lay on it correct i support you on that i don't want to know what he did but i support you on that you know raise your kids the right way try to raise them the right way if they go out there they want to act a fool then now it's up to them you know i always tell my kids that you're gonna lay on your bed the way you spread it and my parents used to tell me that too the way you spread your bed that's how you're gonna lay on it i i never understand what they mean before the way you lay your bed the way that's the way you're gonna the way you spread your bed that's how you're gonna lay on it if you look at that that's a very good meaning because if you fix your bed rough, you're not going to sleep the whole night. It's going to be rough. So it's the same thing with your life. The way you carry your life, that's how you're going to live it. If you carry your life rough, you're going to live rough. You're going to have problems throughout your life. But if you make your life easy for yourself, you, you know, you're going to enjoy life. You know, problem costs money. Definitely, Nana. Anything in this country. You know, me for me. I feel like most of these cases people they, they have in is money. You have to take lawyer. You have to go therapy and pay. You have to go counseling. You have to do this. You have to everything connect. Everything is money. So to avoid all that problem, know what you're doing. Know how you're raising your kids. Discipline them. They I'm not saying don't whoop your child. If you even if if at all you have to put your hands on your child, know where you put in your hands. You know, know your limits. Like the social worker said, you know your limits. You have to know your limit. But Africans now, the way they raise us, the way we grow up, we don't know limits. We just go boom, 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 because that's what we grow up in. That's what we see. You cannot do it here. You do it here, you are finished. Your if you're a citizen, your passport is gone. You want to be in jail for a long time. And you're going to mess up your your character, your image. You cannot even find a good job. Because the moment they put that in that system that you're a child abuser or child whatever, you're finished. 
you can't do nothing again in, in this country because here everything is history they, if you go apply for a job they're going to do a background check when that when they do that background check they're going to check your record if you've been to jail if you molest your husband molest your kids molest yourself molest whatever you know they're going to check all that the moment that red flag come your life is over in america mm -hmm. you know social worker told me just to take a walk it's calm down and then come back and talk to your children that's another one please you guys share your experiences here and share any advice that you have for our upcoming models you know we have some young women that just start having kids that don't know much about what's going on we have some people some parents that just came from africa that brought kids that having kids they don't know the rules and regulation what to do so please come here type in your experience type in what you know about the system because it's a system let me go waste the water and come match this potato for this case mario is almost ready. You guys give me a minute. I'm wasting the water. I have to waste the water from the potatoes. Sweet. It's hot. Okay, we waste the water. Now we bring it back here. Then I'm going to take this half bottle. I'm going to put this half bottle here. I'm gonna put some seasonings just to give it some flavor. All purpose seasonings. The butter is in there. Now you're gonna let me get some milk. Mado! Mado! This is heavy whoop cream. You put a little heavy whoop cream, then you're gonna smash it. Can you guys sing? Yeah, you guys keep sharing your your ideas of raising a child in this country. You know, the rules to follow, what not to do, what to do. Please share that. Just type in what you know. Somebody can learn from you. You can save a parent from going to jail. You can save a parent from having problems with their kids. They will know what to do with their kids. It's, this is a very, very important subject. Trust me, they have a lot of kids that, that went astray in this country because of, because of the laws of this country, you know? Because some kids, as soon as their mom church them, they leave, they run away, they go. Those kids go on the streets, they become homeless. Some, some of them, like girls, they, 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 they end up on, on prostitution because when you leave your parents' house because you're mad or something, then you go meet somebody who is not your parents. That person going to start pimping you. You know, that person going to put you. Because you're out there on the street, you are vulnerable. As a 16, 17, 18-year-old child, what you going to do? You're going to end up on, on child trafficking. They're going to put you into prostitution. And that listening, you was not listening to your parents. Now you're going to listen to somebody else on the street that's not your parent. Because you are under their feet. You have to survive through them you know so that's why this conversation is very important if we have kids out there that are listening to us or their parent listening they're going to teach their kids one or two things you know and that's what i always say i'm not saying my 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 kids are perfect but for the mere fact that my kids are still home when you have daughters, boys in this country, at this age, I'm going to show you guys the potato. You all see that? At this age and they're still home and they're still in school, you are, you are a lucky mom. Maru! Maru! I'm going to go sit in that basement, don't hear nothing. Call Maru. Come on, give me a plate. Let me put your food. Give me a plate. Okay. Where's Jordan? Call Jordan to come eat first. He's still getting his Huh? He's still getting his Okay, 
Okay, he can leave that and come eat and go back and go do his hair. That's your guest. He's been here the whole day without eating. Go get him. He can take a break. That's enough. Okay. That's Madu's plate. You don't want no onions, right? That's good. That's Madu's plate. Go eat. I need a place for Jordan. She wants, she's my baby. She's going to wake up all night. She's my baby. Thank you. I don't know if Abu gonna eat it because I have only three sticks. Abu, this for Jordan. For Jordan, that's for their friend. These kids are eating like president kids. This is mashed potatoes and steak. That's for your friend. I don't know. I will eat um, pasta. I don't know if you still want to eat the steak. Because I made all the steak sticks. Abu, are you going to share with your brother? Maybe Jordan can share. That's for Nazma. That's for Nazma. Nazma! Anything you want? Jordan can share with Abu. That's a big stick. You can cut it in half. Mm hmm you see how easy, it's, easy it is to cook. It's so easy. You come in the kitchen and cook for your kids to enjoy themselves. So I'm going to make some meat pies. That's why I'm going to clean all these dishes. I'm not cooking for you. You eat. Then I clean for you. Oh, so she has to come and clean the dishes. I'm not going to cook you, eat, and, and expect me to clean the dishes. So I'm going to give you a bonus video, okay? Chef, you are a good heart. I will, I will be in your, in your restaurant always, Africa. Okay. All right, so I'm cooking my potatoes. I'm going to show you something else I'm cooking. Mm. Man, the potatoes are so good. share this life so now I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my meat in here that's my ground beef put it now with the potato are we gonna share the place with Jordan I'm gonna make for my beef pie. I already seasoned the steak, but I'm gonna cook it and see if it's not well seasoned. I can add more seasonings on it. So whenever you wanna do beef pie, you can use this recipe. They have different type of, yeah. They have that steak have a lot of seasoning. I don't know why you wanna add more seasoning. 
Ah, the potatoes? Yeah. Even the potatoes are too seasoned. You know? They have a lot of recipes out there for meat pie. But this is mine. Sometimes I do sometimes I do ordinary meat, I don't put potatoes. But when you do potato, it's gonna make it more soft and more full. full. Hi Kimberly, how are you? Hi Joyce, how you guys doing? Thank you guys for watching. We all share the life. This is Hey Jordan. Hey, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Make sure you put in the sink when you don't I cannot cook and clean. Yeah, I know, but I'm just gonna tell you about this one now. You see that? Yeah, it's a taco. Everything's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see? Can you find me that big party maker? Remember? I don't know if the last door is in here. It's around somewhere. Abu, you can eat with them. You fool? You can eat with them. That's a lot of steak. You guys share with Abu, please. So this is my filling for my for my meat pan. How my find it? Huh? Mm -hmm. Let me taste it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not adding anything on. That seasoning is perfect. That's why it's good to season the meat first. So you're gonna let it cook. Let me look for my meat pie stuff. You all clean this kitchen, all, all of you guys. Don't tell him to shut up. Mother, that you did tell you shut up. Why you don't feel good? You're the older sister. Don't do that. Okay, you don't have to say that. Yeah, yeah. No, he's joking with you. He said, yeah, Nazma. Of course, he's a joke. When I said clean, he said, yeah, Nazma. What's wrong with that? Did he cost you? Do you have to tell him shut up? I'm putting some cayenne pepper in here. You know, little younger, younger, younger. Uh, um, any person that you older, older than, is the way you talk to them. When they answer you back, you the one gonna feel it more because you the older. You don't expect your little brother to tell you shut up back, so don't tell them shut up. You're the older sister. Talk to you like you, respect you, so they will respect you. potatoes can cook. Now I'm going to look for I'm going to put oil here so I can do my beef pie. This one is ready. As you guys can see. You all see that? That's the oil coming out of it. That's the filling for the for the beef pie. So
So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna put some oil. This is my reusable oil. Reusable. You know? You can always reuse your oil if you want to. I always save my oil for to to reuse it second time, third time. Like yesterday, somebody was telling me, Chef Ruby, what did she say? Chef Ruby using a uh, fish oil to cook everything. No, I don't use fish oil to cook everything. But if I'm cooking fish, I'm gonna use that oil to cook everything concerning fish. So I wanna learn how to make um the original the original dough. The original one with the flour. This one is from the store. This one is pre-made. Comes 10 in a pack. This one is pre-made already from this um, farmers market, you know. So, but I want to learn how to mix the flour myself. I love, I love that one because when you make it, it's original. Like this one, you don't even know how they mix it. You don't even know what they put. So you're gonna take your flour, put in the middle. Uh, sorry, your stick, like that. This is my first time using this. I use my oil over too. Eh? This is not the right size. This is not the right size, my dear. So I'm gonna use my hand to make it. No, this is not the right size. Nope. I have to buy the bigger one. They have bigger sizes. The, the flower dough. The flower dough, they have this size. So that size is too small for this. If you buy the bigger one, when you spread it, then you just hold it. It's going to come out right. So I need a fox. Trash all my forks, all my spoons. No spoons, no forks. Everything is gone. This one is too soft because the meat is too hot. So it's too soft. So this, ah, uh, you see? It's too soft, man. Ah, this thing not gonna come out right today. Oh my God. It's not gonna come out right. Yeah, so this is the one. I'm not gonna put too much meat in it. Close it. Sometimes you have to let your meat cool off before you make it. How come you eat so fast? That's how you make it. I use egg white on, on the top. Mm -mm. I'm not using egg white. This one is too soft for me to use egg white. If you if you don't the, 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 the hard one, you can use egg white. But this is too soft for me. It's too soft for me to use egg white. Mm. Oh my God. Spicy. Mm. This is spicy meat pie. This is snacks you can make around your house. Even if you have a guest. Huh? No, I have one. Even if you have a guest, the guest can can eat it as a snack before they before before they start eating the main dish. This is like a snacks. Anybody can make this. You have to let the meat cool. Yes, definitely. But you guys know Chef Ruby don't have patience. When it comes to cooking, Chef Ruby don't have patience. I just want to cook it and get out of this kitchen now. I'm tired. Chef Ruby do not have patience. So y'all see that? 
Go make this for your family. Make it, put it. Sometimes just make it in and put it down. Anytime somebody hungry, they will just grab one and eat. It's like a home snacks. Sometimes I will make it and just leave it around the house. By the time you think about it, it's gone. Some people will eat four by themselves. Some people will eat two by themselves. You know? So this is a snack you can make, put it around the house. Everybody can eat it. This flour dough, you can get it from those Spanish stores, those farmers markets. Those farmers markets. Or oh, you can make yours. Nigerian people know how to make this from scratch. This flour dough. Me, I don't have the time. I don't have the energy for it. Mm. The meat is so good. The meat is so good. Maybe this is more than 10. Oh. 6, 7, 8. This is more than 10. Normally it's 10 inside, but this is more than 10. Maybe it's 12. Maybe it's 12. I'm waiting for the oil to get ready so I can put it in. Hey, start cleaning. Start cleaning. Either you sweep or you wash the dishes. Do something. Clean. You put your dish in the sink and walk away. No, well, you can wash the whole dishes in there. If you know how to wash one dish, that means you can wash the rest. Your boys learn how to do those little things. Hmm? You said that's a girl thing. Who teach you that? You say yourself. No. <laughs> uh -huh. I say it's a girl thing to be in the kitchen most of the time. But as a boy, you can wash dishes. It don't matter. So now you're going to use that against me because I said it's a girl thing to be in the kitchen, which is true. But to wash dishes, anybody can wash dishes. Anybody can wash dishes. Jordan, do you wash dishes in your house? Thank you, brother. Thank you, my brother. We are, what's it called? We made a whole Every week, everybody gets a day to wash dishes. Thank you, my brother. Cheat your, cheat your friends. So if you go up, you go marry your wife, and your wife is sick. Who gonna wash your dishes? Yes. Who's gonna wash the dishes? Uh -huh. Your maid, right? So you better become a millionaire then. So you can have maid in your house. Huh? Well, you better be a, a thousandaire. If you don't wanna be a millionaire, be a thousandaire. That's the only way you can afford maid in, in this America. You have to be a thousandaire. Yeah. You don't have to be a millionaire to, to have a meal. So become a thousandaire. Because if you don't become a thousandaire, then you're not going to afford no meal, meal, a maid in your house. It, because me, I'm not going to be your maid. I'm going to be somewhere in Jamaica and Chile. Thank you. This thing they put for.
So that's how you fry your, your beef patties. This is homemade. Oh. This is homemade beef patties. Homemade. Yeah, so fast to be done. Try what? I'm going to sweep that side. Hmm? You want to sweep that side where you sit in the dining area. Side. I do already sweep the kitchen. You sweep that side. The man's not going to wash the dishes. Let's finish all that steak. You guys finish all the steak. Nobody answer me. You guys finish all the steak. Y'all finish all that steak. Y'all can't hear, right? Your stomach is too full to hear, right? No. Hey. Yeah. Y'all finish all last steak. Sort of. Wow. You guys come get some. Facebook jewels, come get one, one, one. I'm going to make 24. Come get one, one, one for yourself. It looks delicious. You keep them in your house and eat them little by little until they are gone. I'm going to open another pack. That's how you make them. This is the pack. Empanadas. They call them empanadas. Empanada dough. You can get it from Spanish store or farmer's market. Empanadas dough. dough. It's flour dough. But that's how they come. When you go to the store, you'll see them there. You cannot miss them. This save you a lot of... This one can save you a lot of work. <laughs> to, make, to beat up that flour from scratch is very hard though. So, when you go buy this, you can cook fast. You close it. Use the fork like this. Go like that. Put it to the side. Let's take the other one out. All the Facebook jewels. You guys can come and get one one. Come and grab one one. Come and grab one. Why you? Oh, that's the one. Yeah. They look so delicious. These are snacks. These are snacks you can learn how to make for your home. You know, sometimes you, you can get unexpected visitors at your house. When you have this stuff laying around, they're going to eat it as snacks. You just give them one or two with some drinks. Even if you don't have food in the house, that's good. They will eat this and be okay and wait for the food if you're going to cook. So you can make this. Just put it around the house. I always make this on or off camera. Ah, this bowl is full of, I have to get another bowl. Very good. It's hot. 
bowl is full. Y'all see that? It's very good. Nice empanadas. Beef pies. Beef pies. By tomorrow, this one is gone. These kids love this stuff. By tomorrow, it's gone. I put what I put mine from Target in the air fryer. You can put it in the air fryer too if you want. It's like you're baking it, or you put it in the oven if you want. Mm. Like somebody was telling me yesterday, say Ruby, I love your cooking, but why you fry fry too much? Hey God, now they even gonna monitor what I'm eating. Why you fry a lot? I like frying. That's what I like. What's the problem? I like to fry. I like to steam. I like to bake. I like to cook. I cook every day. That's the good thing about me. I don't only fry. If I want to bake, I'll bake. If I want to steam, I'll steam. If I want to cook plus us, I'll cook plus us. Anything I choose to eat, that's what I'm going to cook. So, some people have problem with your with your own uh, with your own choice you, you you don't get up and cook but you're gonna tell me me I'm frying maybe you you don't even steam you know maybe you don't even know how to steam nothing you're gonna tell me me I'm frying thank God me I'm frying at least I'm frying to provide food for me and my kids but you you probably don't know how to steam Ruby, why are you frying? Thank God I'm frying now. So let me do the last ones. Maybe three more, that's it. Or two more. The meat is finished. I bring the mm -mm 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 -mm. You all get up and clean up. Get up and clean up. Madu. Why are you laying there? Do you have any dirty clothes in your room? Go wash them. Come on. Did you put that stuff in the dryer for me? Okay, so go set your clothes. Something is funny. Why you don't get up and come check? So you can help me. Something is burning. Get up and come check and see what's burning. Because I'm walking, I'm doing something. So you can come check and come help. So this is the last one for me. I'm done, I'm done. This last two, I'm gonna trash it. Last two, I'm gonna trash it. If I keep it, it's a waste. Cause I'm not gonna use it anytime from now. Maybe, maybe one month later or two weeks later for me to make another one. So that's it. This is it right here. This is gonna stand right here. Anybody that comes to my house, they are welcome to eat one or two. You're not gonna eat more than three though. You're gonna eat two, that's it. I'm counting it. Y'all hear me, boys? Yeah. You only eat two, don't eat more than three. Okay? You eat two. I'm gonna move the camera right here. If you eat more than three, you're gonna pay $10 for one. Did you hear me? That's my law. Chef Ruby and family, yesterday you was funny. Thank you. I'm funny every day. Every day I'm funny. 
Come get some. Come get some. Oh, I'm funny every day. I try to be funny every day. Life is just too short for people to be angry. You know? I don't like angry people. I just don't like angry people. Life is just too short. Right, those are my reels video. So I've been here for like more than an hour. It's finger food. This is finger food. Yeah, it's finger food. You know, like I said, if somebody come visit you, eh, eh, the meat is coming out. If somebody come visit you, they can eat one or two of this. No more than three though. Only two. But it's so good, they're going to tell you, can I have one more? Can I have one more? I'm going to say no. Two is good for you. It's too hard, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. It's too hot. I need to take this out. I need a plate. If I this one is full. Mm. You want some? Bottom belly? We call it bottom belly. You want bottom belly? You're full right now, but you guys going to enjoy this later. Can you take some for Rashida and as well? She said she want food. This is the rest. <laughs> this is the rest of it. Who want one? Come get it. For you, I give you only one. Jewels. One. No more than two. Okay? So good. Mmm. This is finger food. This is snacks you can have in your hand. If your boyfriend or your husband come home, if food is not ready, they can snack on this till it's ready. Okay? So go make it for your family. It's so good. It's so crispy. Look at here. Crunchy. So good. Miss Jackie, come get some. Victoria, come get some. Thank you for watching. I might see you guys later. If I feel like cooking again, I might show. Try it. Mm. Bye, guys. Love you.